Yo, what's up guys? Coming up with a project idea that's gonna get you hired is probably the most difficult thing that you can do as a junior developer because of a few reasons. First reason is that you are not an entrepreneur. So coming up with an idea requires a different skill set than being a developer. As a developer, you solve a problem that someone gives to you in the first place. You come up with the tech stack, you come up with the you know, approach that you have to take. You have to write the code, you have to write the test, etc., etc. That's your job. But that idea that's gonna get you hired is the most difficult thing that you could make because it's a different job in itself, okay? Besides that, the design. That's a different job for someone else that is specialized in design, not your job as a junior dev, okay? That's why your portfolio, if you have one, or uh, your website or your applications that you're making look like trash is because you're not a designer and you're not supposed to be a designer But the problem is that most people recruiters mostly and hiring managers will be judging you based on that because We are judging books by their cover. We don't really care. You know, like how good the book is if the cover is not exciting enough for us to read especially if it's a book from a brand new author right that cover needs to look amazing otherwise if it's like a book from an established author then yeah we can you know disregard the cover we don't care about it etc etc but you are a brand new author you are a brand new software developer you are someone that has dreams and aspirations and if you do not fix these mistakes that i'm going to tell you about in this video you'll not get hired okay or you'll have a very very difficult time getting hired and my entire job on this channel is to make your life easier as much as I can with these YouTube videos, okay? So let's get started. Let me show you what I want to talk about. The thing that we are looking at here is CoinMarketCap. This is an application, a website that allows us to look at different prices of cryptocurrencies, etc., etc. But it's very, very basic, right? I mean, or maybe it looks basic, but in fact, there are many things that are moving behind the scenes. And what I'm going to ask you to do is to think about how you can make your own coin market gap. So let's have a look at this thing. What do we see? We see some news over here. We see some info about Ethereum. We see a nav bar here, a watch list, a portfolio, some search, login, sign up. We, have, we see a theme, a currency, a uh, language selector. We see a table of coins, etc., etc. Filters, more filters, a bunch of shit, right? Now, if you're a junior developer and if you don't work with me and you're just doing stuff based on your feelings, you'll just do one thing, which is just this table, right? And if you do just that table, you'll not get hired because that's too simple. And the thing is, this stuff here is not difficult either. This 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 is not difficult either, not difficult either. right? So. What I'm showing you here is that we are stacking up features to the point where this application looks like a real product, right? Because if a hiring manager comes in and sees your landing page and you only see one table like most people have, right? Or if a recruiter sees that, they won't believe that you have the experience to deal with a higher workload, a bigger application, a bigger project. And that's why they won't give you a chance, okay? It's not your resume, okay? It's not your, the ATS or however that bot is called that's rejecting people automatically. It's not that. It's just people see that you don't have experience. And in order to have experience, you need to stack up features, as many as you can. So here we see one feature, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, this is another one, 13, 14, the entire filter, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So just on this page alone, we see 19 features that we can build. How sick is that? Let's have a look at this. If we click on this, uh, how many I said? 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, 16 features already. Here we see another set of features. 17 18 okay 18 features already this is what this is what is going to make the difference for you guys but you don't do this right you look at your favorite gurus you look at your like 100 days of code 30 projects in 30 days what if you're going to work six months replicating coin market cap from scratch how crazy is that just make it 101 six months 
that's going to get you paid, right? Creating an entire application from scratch. And why is this going to get you paid? Well, if you just make one feature out of all these 20 features that we just discussed or however many were in there, if you just make one, you have exposure. If you make 20, you have experience. Think about that. If you only render one list once, you only deal with rendering a list once. But if you add filters, if you add pagination, if you add this, that, 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 you would have seen the same thing from different angles. And then you would know how to approach it, the problems that will arise next time when you have to build something like that, you will have experience. And then we don't stop there. We don't stop there. We go to the next page. Let's see what we see. <laughs> Links, whatever, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 100. <laughs> and these features are not difficult to add. It's going to take you like literally one day per feature. Obviously, I'm exaggerating. Some will take less, some will take longer. But it's not impossible. This is what I'm doing with my clients in my program, right? Not this specifically, not CoinMarketCap specifically, but we take stuff from CoinMarketCap, we, we take stuff from CoinGecko, we take stuff from uh, Blockchain Explorer, we take from there, from there, we combine with the Twitter API something, we add, uh, what's the name of that thing? U Uniswap, we try to buy coins with Uniswap from the pa page of the coin, etc., etc. So we are just mixing up different things to create a product that looks realistic and that's what helps my clients land interviews and jobs. This is what I've been working on for the past few months. And this is what's going to get you to that next level. Not another to do app, not another Pokemon app, not another weather app. Those are nice to learn. But if you want to get it to the next level, if you want to be like a professional developer, you need to build applications. Okay. Stop wasting your time with bullshit. Like I'm, I'm literally begging you go through this webpage, coin market cap and start building stuff. Right. And then look, just to plug my shit in here. If you want designs specifically that will help you build an app like that, I have made it for you. Right. I think it's the second link in the description of this video. You don't need to deal with the design anymore because the design is super important. That's going to, you know, add another five, 10 percent to your reputation as a developer. Right. You have the project idea. You don't need to deal with all this stuff that I'm telling you to do right now. You can try and you just have to build it. That's it. You join a team. There are other people that bought that you join with them to build the same thing. Then you learn how to use Git. You learn how to use, you know, project management tools. Boom. That's it. Boom. Shakalaka. You get better and then you get hired. And if you want more help, code reviews, feedback, all this stuff, if you're a complete beginner and if you want to get to this level fast without wasting your time, apply for a free consultation call. The link is in the description for that. We'll just try. Peace.